So you've received your Macroba kit, yay. Remember, you can only take this test on a Monday or a Tuesday. So if it's any other day, just stop now. So inside your kit, you are going to find your collection swab tube, your collection pot. Underneath, there's actually an ice pack. So if you haven't pre-frozen this, you'll need to stop. And then there's also a blue capped tube. So there's three samples you'll need to take. There's also a collection checklist. There's some labels to put your name on. There's an instruction booklet. There's a Bristol stool chart. And there's a collection um, tissue, which makes it easier to collect your sample. So you put it over the toilet um, and it just sits inside and you can take the sample with that. It made a hell of a lot of difference. Then you've also got two pouches. So that's the little one, that's the large one. And you've got your applied paid envelope or parcel, sorry. And finally, there's a thermal pouch. And so you'll use that with the ice pack later. So once you've collected your three samples, you need to fill out your name, your date of birth, the collection time and date, um, and then pop it on the collection swab, as you can see me doing. You can then put the second one onto the collection pot, as you can see now. And then the very third one, the actual one with the blue lids already got a sticker on it, as you can see. So you just complete your details on that. So listen carefully, as I found this bit pretty confusing. You've got two pouches, a small and a large. The small non-refrigerated one, you put the collection swab tube inside. That's the long one. Don't refrigerate it. Then grab your pot and the blue capped lid and pop it inside the larger pouch. This one is refrigerated. You'll also find like a moisture wicking sheet inside. That's just there to protect the sample. So pop them in and your three samples are sorted. So next step, you need to fill out the Bristol stool chart. So grab that, fill that out, get that done. So then take your large pouch with the pot and the blue capped lid and pop it in the fridge for a minimum of 30 minutes. I actually set a timer. Then grab your thermal bag, the ice pack, and the large bag that you just took out of the fridge and, and just quickly grab that temperature sensor thing and pull the thing down the little cardboard strip and the plastic bit will come off. Pop it in there, seal it, and you're done. Then grab the box out, pop the thermal bag with all your, the two samples with the large pouch inside Grab the smaller second pouch, which you haven't refrigerated, pop that on top and then close the box as best you can. I found this a little bit tricky, but yeah, just do your best. So pop that into your parcel, then grab the Bristol stool chart, pop that in, get your checklist out, go through each item and just double check that you followed all the instructions to a T. You should be good because you followed my video. Quickly complete that, then pop it in the envelope, and then you're basically ready to take that to the post office. So you're all done, well done. It's a little bit of a tedious process, but you've got this far and it'll be great to see your results.